In previous video, I did cover a video about how viewer model have clipping song in Hana Tool of Floyd and I even show you a mini mind map of how to solve this problem. Uh, which is not gonna lie, I feel kinda of stupid since I just made a conclusion based on what people told at Twitter without doing some experiment myself. So, this video, I'm creating this video is the previous version instead of the current one and I will explain why in this video along the way. So, this is an example of your model with cat tails attached to the hips. Let's export this model. When it comes to exporting fluid model as VRM, I prefer to use VRM 0.0 because it's much more universal to use in any 2D software, especially in V2B. Don't forget to untick the delete transparent measures or you will get the error while you put your VRM model into the Unity later. Once the export is done, it's time to set up our Unity program. In order to prepare your VRM model to Unity, you need these 5 apps on. These are the version that I always use minus HANA tools since I rarely use those. You can pick in Unity and you need VRM version that suited your need. You don't need to follow my 100%. This is for those who are just started using Unity and don't know which version to download. But if you want to copy it, go ahead. I don't want to cover of how to install Unity in this video since there's plenty of tutorials out there that can teach you. You can watch those and then after that, you can watch this video. Everything that I mentioned here, I've already included the list in the description down below. There are two types of HANA tool, the older version and the newer version. The older version are for VRM 0.0 which we are going to use them in this video and the new version are for VRM 1.0 I'm going to use the older version since I export my VRM model as VRM 0.0 but if you export your VRM model as VRM 1.0 then you need to use HANA tool newer versions and you need to download different type of uni VRM unfortunately I don't know which uni VRM version for VRM 1.0 so you need to look it up yourself. Now mind you that these tools have two different languages. Somehow some people make a mistake by buying the Japanese version instead of English. So don't do that, okay? Also, Hana Tool developer already fixed the clipping tongue problem and you need to download this additional file. You can find them at their boot page that has this placeholder like this. This is the reason why I'm not using Visual Studio current version because this file is meant for Visual Studio 1.27. Okay, this is the feature editor right here. As I was editing this video, Hana Tool developer Nico Kunian already updated the additional file, which means you can now use the the Viroid Studio latest version. Yes, the tutorial in this video is still the same. The difference is that you don't need to use Viroid Studio 1.27. Instead, you can use Viroid Studio latest versions. Alright, so back to the video. This is a Unity Hub and in order to use the Unity Hub, you need to renew the license every time you use it. And I am using a Unity Editor 2019.3.11 F1 the new project and we're going to choose 2d template right here we're going to rename the project whatever you want and then we're going to create the project it will take a few seconds to set up the unity program Okay, once you done download this, open Unity program and you will import the add-on in the right order. First is Uni VRM. We're going to drag those to asset here. And I'm going to use recommended linear since we are using Univior and or you can just accept it all but I'm just clicking uh, use recommended linear right here. Actually it doesn't even change anything, it's just the space of the unity inside of the unity. So I'm going to close it down. Next I'm going to import HANA tool. So I'm going to use this. And then we are going to drag both of these to the asset. 
So, first is the Anak to Import Next is another HANA tool for VR and purpose. Import. Then import your VR and model. So you can drag your VR and model to the asset first. Drag your VR and model to the sample scene like right here. Double click to zoom in. Next, we're going to asset right here. Open HANA tool folder and then select the blend shape file right here. Open the additional HANA data file that you extract and drag both of this file to blend shape data. These are the data that prevent your VR and model from having a clipping tool. Without dragging new additional blend shape data, go to model. Select HANA tool, select reader. This is the additional new file that we just insert. Since our model uses familiar base, we're going to pick the third row. In skin mesh, pick face, and then read blend shape. Once it's done, then click OK. Click HANA tool again. Go to Clip Builder. For game object, select your avatar, hold click your to avatar right here, and then drag them to avatar right here. You don't need to touch these two settings since it was meant for VR and model that made from VR Studio. Click clip build. Once it's done, then click OK. To see where the HANA tool already implement in your VR M, go to assets, find a folder that has blend ship. Here is all the blend shape listing here after applied HANA tool. Or you can just go to blend shape right here and then scroll down. Here all the blend shape clip that's already been implemented. However, if you didn't see any of this even though you already followed along, it's either you skip a certain part and watch only that's relevant to you or you didn't even watch my video in the first place. Either way, you have to redo it again. If there's a clip happening or anything looks abnormal, you need to adjust it. For example, you can see the eyebrow near the eyelids. To fix that, go to blend shape list. What's the one this area? And this should be good enough. To export select your VRM model, go to VRM0 tab and then export any VRM. All you need is to write down a version. It's either your uni VRM number, VRM studio version, or anything, it's fine really. Just fill the form in here and you are done. So here's the result no more clipping tongue and you can clip your animal tail too. With this, I don't think you have any problem creating animal tail without worrying about clipping your thumb. If you don't know where to start, then I suggest you to watch this video where I teach you of how to make a mermaid tail by using animal tail. It's really simple really. See you later.